Hi, Trevor Perry with Kremen Incorporated, the manufacturer of the Advice Press Stand. In this video, I'm gonna show you what to watch out for so you don't destroy it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, but want to, check out our overview video first. There are a few very important things to remember when you're using your Advice Press Stand. Number one, make sure you remove your nut or the locking kit off the end of the cone first before you put it into the press stand. Number two, Debris and other particulate gets trapped down in the bottom of this press head. After every part, you should remove your head, clean the bottom sides of this so that head can return back to home, as well as around this area. It's handy or recommended to keep an air gun close by so you can go in there and actually blow out a lot of that debris. Occasionally, you'll need to go one step further and actually remove the taper guide and even the drive dog to get in there and clean out underneath that surface and even inside the jaws. Reassembling it just the way that you disassembled it. Occasionally after you've removed your profile tool, you'll find that the tool holder won't want to release from the ram head. One of the recommendations I have for this when you run into it is to raise your head up so you have some gap underneath it and you can get in there and clean underneath this head. Make sure there's no particulate underneath there so this head can all the way go back to this top plate. After you make sure it's clean, try it again. Make sure it's all the way pressed down and you can pull the tool out. In short, keeping your advice clean will prevent any unforeseen issues from arising.